out well. Felicity and I, we went to the same school. Should I, um, introduce myself? My name is Claude Aguillard. I am 29 years old. Uh, Felicity was much more passionate about journalism. Always talked about covering something, you know, big one day. She never returned. Uh, it was like she was gone. Uh, no one knew what happened to her. Not even the authorities could give me any, any, any updates on the situation. And no one until now even, even asked what happened to Felicity. Wait, do you, do you know what happened to her? No, that's just uh, that's just an urban legend. I don't think we need to add it in. No, stick to what the police have said. Yeah, it's official good. reports only. Okay. Does my hair look okay? Yeah. I, sh I should get the Rachel. <laughs> I'm really hoping Ross and Rachel get back together. I really liked that. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, we're rolling. You wanna do a walking one? Yeah, let's do a walking one. of her whereabouts. We started hearing her on the radio and stuff. You heard her on the radio? Yeah, like just uh, switching to random channels. I think you got like a pirate radio station or something because you can hear her on the statics. If you have any information about Felicity Graves or her whereabouts, please contact the Cape Cod Police Department. Back to the studio. And rolling. Hey, spooky people, welcome back to another episode of Ghost in the Machine. I'm your host with the most ghosts, Stephanie King. Now, I think you guys are really gonna like what we have planned for you today, but first off, I wanna tell you that today's case was sent in to us by Twitter user, who you gonna call? Now, if you've got a tip that you wanna see on the show, there's gonna be a couple of links down in the description below this video that'll take you to a Facebook, a Twitter, or an email. You can send your tips to any of those, and who knows, maybe they'll get featured on the show. Also in those set of links is gonna be a link to our Patreon page, and if you wanna donate to keep the show going, we'd really appreciate it, and we can continue to bring you all the spooky content you crave. But enough about that, let's go ahead and get started on today's case. Come on, Taryn. Alrighty, so today's case concerns Felicity Graves, who disappeared from Stodham Community College in Cambridge, Massachusetts in 1967. And to this day, her case continues to some police and private investigators alike. Nothing was ever found pertaining to her case. No body, no connections, no witnesses, no shred of evidence was ever found relating to this case. Uh, now, longtime fans of the show will know that police cases aren't really closed unless there's some sort of definitive closure. But not only is Felicity's file still open, but the case isn't even cold. Even 54 years later, her family continues to search for any shred of information concerning this missing woman. And that's where we come in. Right now we are on the grounds of Gray Manor in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and we're gonna see if we can find something out here that they couldn't. So we're gonna take a tour of the grounds, we're gonna see inside the house, talk to some of the people who live there currently, and hopefully we're gonna find... Did you hear that? No. No, 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 listen. Yo, should I cut it? No, 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 keep going. Shh, run! Huh. God, shit, the camera! Leave it, just go!
If you're hearing my voice, that means you've been looking for me. That in some way we are connected and you've begun to ask questions about the manor. It is with no pleasure that I inform you that you will not find the answers you seek. Ultimately, by the time we're done, you'll be riddled with more. My name is Felicity Graves, and in 1970, I disappeared. Though I was never too far from sight, simply out of view, out of reach. And you should know that I'm not the only person to have gone missing on the grounds. My story has served as a lure for more victims. Consider me a lighthouse gleaming with a desirable warning. So if you know my name, and you're here to uncover the haunting of Grey Manor, beware, for once you've been welcomed, there is no escape. Thank you. 
Why is it locked? Um, because there's something special in there that I wouldn't want to lose or anything happen to. Well, wouldn't you just leave it somewhere and not bring it to a place with a bunch of people? No, I think it, I need to make sure that I have it just in case, uh, you know, otherwise I'd be worrying what could happen to it. Right. In a big, giant box with an easily breakable lock. Well, it's, um, it's held up uh, to this point. Uh, like I said, I was a little personal. Are you finding everything at the manor accommodating? Yes. Yes. Definitely. It was a really good meal. You always need a little bit for events like these.
associated with it. Well, no, but you've been following us around. I'm not, we're in the same place. I'm not following you. Well, there's plenty of room around here that isn't next to us. Okay, you didn't walk to me. That is, that is true. No, I didn't walk to you for this, but I won't stand for insults in my group. You have no journalistic integrity and no proof. Me? I had no stop. I had no stop in power. You know that. Well, I don't know if I'm the only one, though, but I wouldn't be surprised if I were. Lizzie's not. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, all right. And you two aren't either. Good Lord, no. I'll, I'll spectate, but I'm not getting involved. That just looks like danger. I have just enough superstition to say. I'm going to make it all night in this place, I'm, not by getting involved with it. Oh, that. trust me, I intend on it, too. How else is anyone going to see it?
Bring home to us a sacred memory. Bring home to us the unflinching truth of our existence. To some, we comfort the dead.
Your, your, your inflection, your manner of speaking, your syntax even, it's um, unusual. Where, where are you from? Oh, I'm from the middle of nowhere. Interesting. And how did you get from the middle of nowhere to here? Oh, well, I took a cab. Interesting. Are cabs that interesting? In this context, very. Was that a stop? I met her recently. So, not as much as you do, probably. It looks like it's I A U S O. Um, anybody should have a pen. A pen. It looks like Lizzie has a pen. This is absolutely really terrifying. They, they took me into the room for the first time. You know that room that they never let us in? And I think they killed somebody in there and they're trying to tell me that ghosts are real. Like, I mean, they grabbed me all strange man with the violet spectacles gave it to me as a tip for delivering him water. I thought it was random, but that's my name. It's a puzzle, I think. These rich people of Cambridge are very perplexing. Thank you. 
like maybe if I had a good time, like this thing in here is supposed to be about positivity, so. I hear that raves are parties to make people happy. Yeah, do you think you can help me like with that? Yes! Oh, well then um, please come in, please. Uh, there's some good energy happening in here. It's really, really good. It's gonna be okay. It's all right. Everything's gonna be fine. You're a behind this, I know you are. I do not know. Oh, so you promise you'll help me have a good time? I promise. Please, please come inside and. Of course. Um, and you're welcome to enjoy the music, and I guess there's like some party things. I'll be your host for the next few hours. We have some party favors over there in the table. Some of them are for you to take, some of them are for you to heighten your experience while you're here. Uh, once the music gets going proper, we be dancing and having a grand old time. Now, are there any members of the Peace of the Lotus around me that can come and join me really quick? So we can demonstrate uh, the ritual to begin the Rave the Dead. Uh, all right, so there are going to be a few motions and if anyone else wishes to join, they are more than welcome to come in. The more people that join, the better the experience will be at the end of the night. So if you'd like to join and kind of experience that, we ask that you come forward. We'll stand in a circle together facing and then we'll do this all together. So come over. Oh, no, I'm just saying this to you. You look great. Come on, Sam. Very well. Sam, you're my whole house. You're going to take your hands and you're going to raise them above your head. And you're going to slowly bring them forward. And while you're bringing them forward, you're going to hum whatever tone you want. Now push your hands forward slowly as if you're pushing something against a barrier. So the idea is you're really focusing your thoughts and patterns into what's in the center, like a right above the candle. Okay. Okay? You want to try it again? Yes, please. All right. This time you can close your eyes if you want. If it's easier, just raise your hands. I don't know, it's just something's coming for you. I know that seems like really like 
something a psychic would say, but I'm, as a, this is what a psychic would say. As a friend, I'm telling you, something's gonna come for you, and you need to tell it no. Tell it no. How do I tell it no? Just walk away. How will I know what it is? I don't know. Who's Sarah? Sarah Davis. Let me find Sarah Davis. Who's Sarah Davis? Who's Sarah Davis? Still there? No, I mean, I Uncross the rods if you're still here. Yeah. I've traversed the earth to acquire these artifacts. I have dealt with death cults. I have sold a portion of my soul. I have lost an eye in a knife fight. All to procure these artifacts. In the London Peasants' Revolt. Of 1318, a professor at Cambridge University, Professor Sutherland, was murdered with this blade. Yeah, the... Professor Sutherland is still connected to this item. This is no longer mine. I lost an eye for this. I give it now to the family Sutherland. We accept it. Thank you. Woo! I will place it. 
Feel free to open it and take a look inside. There's some little sort of figurine people stuff in there. It's safe and won't bite you. You said I could trust you. Yes. How do I know? I don't think I'm actually capable of lying. I'm trying to think of how you can prove that. This is kind of difficult, really. Um, mostly people aren't really terribly interested in me. Uh, usually they just kind of have their own stuff to worry about, like, you know, what's going to happen to my wife, or I still had some bills to pay, or whatever thing, or, you know, whatever. But once the, once the, once you don't have the, like, the, the, the chemicals in your body anymore, because you don't have a body anymore, usually people are pretty sanguine about it, no pun intended. Um, so, <clears throat> my point is that... Think of me as the last friend everybody ever has. 
there's really no point in punching down at that point, is there? So why would I? But it's what you want me to do. How do I know that you're not just leading me down another one of these traps that I've seen all night? Every, all of the horrors of the night have come true. Everything that I dreamed of. Technically, what I can tell you is that there is a whole lot that is true about you that is none of my business. That does not really intersect with any of what I do. But there are parts of you that do. You are a person. That's the other thing. I think I'm starting to land on what may be going on here, and I need your assistance. So, if you wouldn't terribly mind opening the box and just looking inside, you don't have to put your hand inside or anything like that. You can just look and see if what's in there is worth trusting. What am I supposed to do with this? Do any of them speak to your heart? And if one does, put your hand on it. Pick it up and put it on the table. Marvelous, thank you. I'm just going to put this here for right now. Do you remember breathing? Okay, and you're still, you're still doing that. It's, um, it's, it's a thing I don't really usually pay a lot of attention to, so it's kind of... Alright, breathe. Right. Use um, lungs. lungs. Use it. And inhale and hold it. And hold it and hold it. And I'm sorry, I know this is uncomfortable. You can do this. Just hold it. And keep holding it and just let it out. Okay, got it. Alright, beautiful. Thank you. Alright. So, okay, all right, I see it now. I see it now. Now that I have some perspective on this, I can start to see what's going on and probably how you've been spending most of your days for the last couple of decades. And you know how sometimes you just kind of are somewhere else? Yeah. You should just kind of let yourself be somewhere else for about 30 seconds or so. There's something I have to, there's someone I need to talk to. So just like that. Okay. You know you're not supposed to do this. I'm not angry. I don't get angry, but you're not supposed to do this. I understand. I spend time around them too. It's hard not to want to be like them. I mean, I, I used to have a billion eyes and now I don't because of them, because they are fascinating. It's hard not to want to be like them, but you're not supposed to do this. They have lives and they don't belong to you. And she was supposed to die much later. And I don't even think she's dead. I don't even, I don't know what you did. You're a house. You're a house. Um, so, this next part is... This isn't what you're supposed to be doing. This you're is... supposed to leave Felicity alone. I know, for quite a while longer, but so are you. I have needs. You have wants. I get it. You're not supposed to be here either. I know. I am freely aware of this. I usually can just go where the fuck ever. And now I am stuck in this house. She's going to stay here for as long as I want her to stay here. How long do you want her to stay here? For as long as I'm going to be here. That's it right there. That's, that is what I was missing, and I think that's what makes sense now. It's, there's no plan, there's no nothing. You're just sort of scrabbling and crawling and trying to hold on to it for as long as you possibly can. No, you need to I, mind your own business. They say that the spider weaves a web so that it can catch the butterfly, but which one would you sacrifice in the end? Thank you. 
this this is this is where again we are off the map here. She was supposed to die quite well. No, once you got your hands on her, she was supposed to die a while ago. And I have no idea what it is you're doing. There's people doing rituals and seances and crap like that. Very unusual. Have you ever stolen cakes intended as an offering for the gods? Yes. Or spoken wrathfully? Yes. You lied. Do you know that your mother never stopped looking for you? Oh, sorry, wrong person. So I feel like we have most of our answers here, but not all of them. So. What happened? What's going on? Nothing too terribly scary. I am going to give you some control. Would you like that? I'm gonna owe you anything for this. <laughs> Nobody ever owes me anything. Do whatever you need to do to be assured and certain that they are not hostile, that there is nothing bad or threatening about them, that they're just carts. This feels right. Magnificent, thank you so much. Your first card is the hanged man. Now this is not actually a guy being hanged, it's only a picture of one. So you don't have to worry too terribly much about that. This, again, I'm not great at this, so this might not go the way it's supposed to. Yeah, okay, so there's two of these, and there's my understanding is that, it, so I'm not really what all that. What is this? The hanged man is just basically, and let me know if this starts to make some metaphorical sense to you. Somebody who um, is suffering due to the will of another. Uh, I don't know if that rings any bells for you or not, no pun intended. No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I, I just... I gotta get out of here. So, the thing is... Sooner or later. <laughs> wow, okay. So that's good. That's good. Um, sorry <laughs> if your heart weighs uh, more than the feather hey. it gets to you. So you're not gonna eat any. Hey? Oh, is this your friend? Yes. Hello. We're friends. Greetings. <laughs> Um, sorry, I'm not going to be your entree for the evening. <laughs> he's got, he's got options, it's fine. You're yes. the meal of another. Yes, that is also true. A far crueler meal. Put your hand up, please. Thank you, this is for you. And that's yours. And it is whatever you make of it. Because you still have choices to make. It's not just that your family never stopped looking for you. And you're not really dead. You share too much. I know. But this is, we're off the map here. I don't think there's any... It is a special case. A house stole her. Yes. They're not supposed to do that. They're not supposed to do anything but be houses. Sorry, I was still you. I don't know if that's helpful for you or not. Listen. The manor? Uh, yeah. You're saying that the manor stole me? That I'm that I was supposed to die and I'm alive now because the manor stole me? Technically you weren't supposed to die. You are supposed to die later, but you haven't and you're not going to. Uh, we had an appointment. It wasn't yet. It was some time from now, but you we're supposed to be somewhere different now. You were supposed to be someone different now, and you're here. I think that just about answers most of the questions that I had. I think I have a clearer understanding of what's happening in this house tonight, and if you should need us for anything, do please find us. However, other than that, um, be not afraid. I knew how I could not be afraid. I guess uh, something got me into this manner. Something inside of me, and maybe I can, maybe I can use that to get out. It's true. 
You could think of it that something pulled you here, you could think of it that something pushed you here. You know, something pushed you here, and something can push you out. And if that's true, that something was always you. That something was always what is over the next hill. And I will tell you also, sometimes I encounter people who are peripheral to what's going on when I am working. There was a showing of the blob at that drive-in. Yeah. Remember the guy had a heart attack and the couple cars over? Oh, wow. Yeah, Dave. Um, Poor Dave. <laughs> he loved it. He was so happy. I mean, again, people react differently, but he was just so, he loved movies. And he was so happy that that's how he went. My, my, uh, what I'm trying to say, I guess, is that um, everyone gets to choose. You get to choose what pushes you, you get to choose what pulls you, and you get to choose what doesn't. There are, unfortunately, some choices that have been taken from you for the time being, but a human fell into this, and I think a human can take their way out. I understand now. I hope so. Am I going to see you again? <laughs> yes. I couldn't tell you when at this point. It was supposed to be some time from now, but now I'm not sure. I don't, to be honest with you, I'm a little fuzzy on what living people know. That's what happens here. I think I remember they all come here and they don't get to leave. Yeah, my, I mean, my, 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 my appointment book is just all messed up from this place. What matters, I guess, number one is that you try, and number two, that you are armed with something that helps you not to be afraid. Are you hired? That is a great question. I'll have to get back to you. Thank you very okay. much. This was in incredibly insightful. I think um, I have some people to talk to now. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you are armed with something useful? Yes. Good. Very, very good. Thank you for everything that you've done. I, I'll try my best to take this gift and do something with it. Thank you for living with that behind.
here, you know, like find new opportunities for myself. Oh, but I thought Mr. B wanted you to stay. No, I think it's best that we all leave. That if anybody can leave, that they they all just get out of here. Oh, would that be helpful? It would be helpful for anybody who wishes to stay alive. So does that mean everyone will die? Oh boy. so many keys in here, like... Uh, okay, it's, it's not gonna be a jump scare or anything, right? Thank you. Ah! I don't know what happened. It's a part. Is it open? It's a part. What is this? There's a heart in here! Yes, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a heart in a, in a box. It, it's, 
What are we supposed to do with this? No, we opened it and now he's not. There's no pulse on him. Is there a doctor? I thought we were going to fix him. I didn't think that it was going to kill him. This. Lock, lock it up, lock it up. Maybe, should we lock it up? Yes, if we lock it up, maybe it will go back to the way it was before where he can just carry it around. Okay, okay, we'll try. All right, it's locked. Is, is he back? Oh, oh, it what? worked. What was that? What was that? What was in there? What, 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 what did you, what'd you do? Your heart was, your heart was, it was there, like, like you said it was, but... It's in there still? No, but please there? don't open it, because when we did, you fell and... You fell. You saw it? You were able to open it? Yes, it, it was in there! It, that was the key, but please, please don't take it out. Please don't take it out. Why is your heart in a box? It's like I can't describe. Like it was, it was taken from me. It was, it was removed from me. It has to stay. I think it's what creates the the, the void in me that, that that I need to feed. I mean, part of me I wouldn't have to be a burden on anyone anymore. I wouldn't have to feed on anyone anymore. But uh, sorry, what? If, it, if it's in there, I, I, just, I wish there was a way I could put it back. I wish I could get. I'm sorry, I don't. I can't help. I'm just gonna have a lock here. This is more information than what I've been Thank you. Do you want your heart back? I don't know if, 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 if I could. If I could. There's people here that do rituals. Can they, can they put it back for you? I mean, the, uh, everyone that I that I met, like I, I feel like I'm I'm draining from them, and I feel like it just doesn't work. It's just, like I don't feel like it could work because of the, en the energy that I'm, I'm, I'm taking from them. But I don't, I don't, I don't take energy from you. Well, um, I don't, I don't know what any of that means. If my heart's in there, could you try to help uh, put it back? Here. If Open anything goes it. wrong, I can help. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you're gonna fall. Maybe lie down. Should be so ready. Yes. So it's it's in your hand. Oh, it's kind of again. Okay, okay. Take the heart. Take the heart. Let's try to push it. Push it into. <laughs> oh. 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 Did it? Did it work? Do you feel old again? His heart is beating. It is. Oh. Oh. You know that that I, was I it. don't. How did you know? How did you? I don't know how I know. I just, I just thought that maybe. He has a beating heart. <laughs> Where do you feel? Do you feel okay again? It feels warm. Do you feel normal oh. again? Are you hungry? For like regular food, though not for. No. <gasps> We need to get you out of here. Okay. Um, we need to get you out. Here, let me just get no, no, there's not a lot of time. There's not much time. In order for you to be able to leave, someone else has to take the place. Oh. Someone has to stay here forever. That's just the way it is. That's the way it's got to be. Somebody has to take my, my place? Yes, someone has to. Every time I come in, someone else has to stay. You too? Yeah. Do you think you can leave now that you're... My heart is beating again. Yes. Okay, good. Now that's one problem solved. Do you know Felicity? Do you know if there's something keeping you here as well? Like he, his heart, you know, his heart was not in his chest, but do you think you have something like that as well? I do. Yes, what is it? It's the man. The man. The manor keeps me here. To burn down the manor, do you think it would free you or would it destroy you? I don't think you could just burn down the manor. The manor is a force all of its own, and it's everybody has to if they say It might be too late. It happens all the time. For years, it's happened. 
that why they keep having events? How are you going to do I'll have to try. I promised my mother I would. Right. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to try to do it. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, do you want your box back or should um, I hold on to it? It's up to you. I mean, it's, it's, it's of no use to me anymore. Um, right. Well, I'll take it then. Thank you. Take care. Um, I'm glad I got to meet you. I hope someday our, our paths will cross again in a, in a way that is...
You guys escape. I'll find a way out. I get to come down. I guess I'm staying here. Go with it. <laughs> Come now, it's an easy way out. You can join us. I mean, I was told I can walk right out the door. So. Sure, certainly. Go walk right out. Although, well, if you want to allow us out with you. Oh, yes, that would be I mean, I'm not going to slap you. Keep walking. Remember, go. We're making a deal here. Look, look, look. All we need is a body to walk We just need a ride. We're going to go and try and leave out the front door. I think we can do that with her. or ghosts or specters or demons or whatever we should call ourselves. We do not obey the dimensions of space and time.
are the tales from the void. A garden covers the gates, surrounded by lavender dreams. Sunken roots provide the path. Ivy coils near the latch. I've spent days on end trying to find you the most perfect gift, and I realized it was in my heart the whole time. The best way to travel is through the void. 